This Easter weekend, gas prices just keep going higher and higher. In the past month, the national average cost of a gallon is up a whopping 30 cents. As holiday travelers hit the road, these escalating prices may force them to stay closer to home. CBS News correspondent Wood Johnson now joins us live from the Lutherville, Maryland area that's outside of Baltimore with the very latest. Good morning, Wit. Russ, good morning to you. Well, not only are gas prices high, but they're the highest they've ever been in the month of April. A decline in travel this Easter weekend could be a sign of what's to come. For many Americans, this year's spring break also means a break from driving. It's $5 a gallon, I'm going to start walking, you know, uh, unless I have to go out of the area, but it's ridiculous. You know, I'm on a fixed income and I can't afford it. Gas in the U.S. now averages $3.84 a gallon, 30 cents more than a month ago, a dollar higher than last year. In six states, the average tops $4 a gallon, a holiday weekend game changer, one that not only affects gas consumers, but those who sell it. A couple of years ago, I'd see RVs and boats and all of these big cars ready for summer. I don't see, you can't even count just your fingers could hardly see any at all. It's that economic ripple effect and outcry from the public that's prompted the White House to take action. It's tough. This week, President Obama launched a Justice Department task force assigned to investigate fraud and manipulation in oil markets. Gas prices hit their record high of $4.11 a gallon in July of 2008. The impact on travel then was across the board. Also, if you think back, that was the time period in which airlines began to implement some of the fees on services that used to be complimentary. That was the first time we started to see baggage fees. But gas prices have never been this high this early in the year. In April of 2008, prices were more than 30 cents less than they are today. And the summer driving season is only weeks away. Some will travel and offset those costs of, of gasoline staying at cheaper hotels, eating at cheaper restaurants, traveling shorter distances, staying shorter amounts of time. AAA releases its first travel survey of the year ahead of Memorial Day weekend. That's when we'll get our first real indication of how these gas prices are affecting the traveling public. Russ. All right, with Johnson outside Baltimore. Thanks a lot.